guys, today's video will be how to install this TP-Link the Reliable Choice Business Solution Switch. You can pick these up at Best Buy right now, they're on sale for $20. I also did a lot of re research on the reviews of this device and it's actually really good. One of the things I like about it is that it's metal, but it's also very reliable, has a warranty, and works great from what I've seen from the reviews that I've read. This is everything that's in the box. I already plugged in the power cord for the device. To save time because it's a whole process for me to do that because I have to run it through my whole office setup that I have here. So I figured I'd just plug it in because it's just a normal cord. Everyone knows how to plug one of those in. Everything else in the box here is just techno so technical support papers, installation guide, some things that you can put on the bottom to stop it from sliding around. I'm probably not going to install these. I don't really need them from the place that I'm installing this switch at. And it comes in a box within a box, but that's all it really comes with. Another thing that you'll probably need is separate Ethernet cords, but you can get those at Best Buy, Walmart, order them online from Amazon or eBay. Just be careful on the quality when you order from eBay. But anyways, yeah, so that's everything that comes in the box here. You probably will need a separate Ethernet cord to plug from your router to the switch, but I went over everything that really comes with it, and you can get that cord cheap and easy so I already had a cord anyway so I'm not going to show you where to go for that I already told you but let's just begin with the video here on what to do so you just take your switch over over here to the, your Ethernet I have Xfinity Ethernet in particular so I usually like to install these types of things without being without plugged into power yet it's always a good measure that way it's not continuously searching and refreshing and seeing that you're plugging new things in and stuff when you can just have it all plugged in, in the beginning. So this core in particular, I already checked, this goes directly into my router box. You can plug it into whatever cord you want. I like to install this first. So just plug that, plug whatever cord goes to your router as if it was going to a computer, but plug it into your switch. So that goes directly into the back into the router. This cord used to go to my computer. So I'm just going to plug it into the switch now because my computer is going to plug into the switch. But I also have some Ethernet cords. One right there in particular that's not plugged in that goes to this computer. As you can see there's no connection going. But once I plug into the switch and set it up, then the connection will be good. So I'm also recording in 4K if you want to up the resolution that you're viewing my video in. But furthermore, let's start the with plugging in the devices. So this is the device. This is the cord that goes to the computer that I just showed you. And I figured I just. It doesn't matter really which port you plug into. For this one, I'm gonna plug into port number four. That's number four right there. And then let's see. I got another one here. And I'm going to plug that one into actually, you know, I'm going to actually use that one for four because this one's not always used. So this one can go into four. This is also another computer. And then I also have another computer that I'll just unplug from the box that I'll put into the switch. I'll just get rid of that there. Okay, so... Here is another computer. I'll plug that into port number two. Okay, so once you got all those plugged in, this one, like I said before, this is to your router right here. This is the, and then these three are to a computer. So I'll have a few more eventually later, like maybe an Xbox, your smart TV, possibly two other personal computers or laptops, whatever you want to do. All the ports are there for you to use. And so the last thing you really need to do now is grab your power cord. See, like I said, I already plugged that in to the wall. Actually, let's see, okay. So all you need to do is 
plug this into the back there. Okay, so it must not be plugged in down here. Yeah, there it is. I think you're going to want to just find an open port. Move that over. Looks like that didn't have much... Didn't give you much length there. But there it is. The power is going to the device. Just going to move that back. Not very much room for this kind of setup here, but it will do. Okay, so as you can see, it's booting up. And it seems that already have service to my computer. Brilliant. I didn't think it would boot up that fast, but it is just a switch. It's very simple. And a good thing about this switch is that you can actually use multiple different crossover cables or whatever kind of cables it doesn't matter what cable they'll all work so let's see that I actually have some service here okay Google all right so yeah internet's working Google works so the service is working and that's that's all you have to do to install a switch and that's yeah that's it everything's working everything's good to go that's all you have to do there you can install those sticky things on the bottom if you want you really don't need to do anything else just make sure you get to grab that extra ethernet cable to take from your box to your switch so yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoy this video if it's the first time you're watching my videos please subscribe it really helps take care guys and have a great rest of your weekend